as always. Do you mind leading us in a few words, please, sir? In the immortal words of Jay-Z. <laughs> Whatever deity may guide my life, dear Lord, don't let me die tonight. But if I shall before I wake, I'd accept my fate. Hell yeah! Hell yeah! Hell yeah. Hey, this is Al McGee with your entertainment ticket. I am the film critic for www.yeticket.com. Well, the film I'm going to talk about right now is called G.I. Joe Retaliation. Well, this is the long-awaited movie that uh, they uh, finally put out. Why? Because it's supposed to come out in 2012. Somehow they decided that, you know, uh, they wanted to put it in 3D. Well, let's take take advantage and so they can make more money. Also, they wanted to build up Shannon Tatum's um, role because he's very popular. And I think they also fixed the script and they had to change directors. The, this retaliation is directed by John M. Cho. He uh, took over from Stephen Summers for this sequel. And you know, so Cho, you know, he directed uh, some couple of good f films, like the documentary uh, for Justin Bieber's concert, you know, his life story. I, I thought that was pretty good, but for action, well, this film is full of action. Also in this is Dwayne Johnson. Where has he been? Where was he in the first one? Well, and also Ray Stevenson is in this one. Uh, Jonathan Price as the president. RZA, he's in this, and Bruce Willis, and DJ Catrano. This is written by uh, Rhett Reese and Paul Warnick. Well, the acting, well, brush that aside. You know, they, you know, words, well, let's get them, we gotta find them, things like that. You're not gonna find a lot of good dialogue in this type of film. Also, there's some extra fight scenes in this with RZA. He's the blind master, and um, he fights other people. You know, I, I really couldn't understand why he was in this film, though. Let me tell you a little bit about the story. The G.I. Joes, you know, they are very good at their job. But the president, played by Jonathan Price, and played by someone else, I can't really give you that storyline. He ordered the Joes to get the nuclear weapons from another country. Because that country, you know, they were being turned over or they had a, some type of faction in there or some type of civil war. And then someone comes along and take the nuclear weapons from the Joes. And the Joes are accused of going into a country, taking the weapons to use them for themselves. So now the Joes are criminals and they are disbanded and killed. Of course, you know, they had to redeem themselves and save the president and save the world. G.I. Joe retaliation, ah, for the action, 
This film is rated, I got to give it three palm trees because it was not boring, full entertainment. But again, don't expect a lot of action in this. I mean, don't expect a lot of good acting in this film. Just expect a lot of action, and you're going to walk out of there to say, hey, this was better than one. So I guess John M. Cho did a good job in directing G.I. Joe Retaliation. I'm giving this three palm trees because of the action. Of course, it's a storyline I've seen before, but I tell you, there were some very good scenes in there. You might say, hey, G.I. Joe, G.I. Joe. G.I. Joe. I'm not G.I. Joe. I'm an Omi Gee with your entertainment ticket. Keep watching us at www.yeticket.com and Twitter us at yeticket. All right? I'm Omi Gee.